episode 12 of our Watford career mode, and today we have got a couple of tough games. We've got Leicester City, Manchester United, and then Sheffield United, all in a short space. And then, as you can see here, two games in three days. We're going to have to shuffle the team around a little bit as we move forward, and uh, hopefully we can keep on rolling at the top of the league. That is where we are. Um, and we'll accept it as we go forward. If we keep winning, of course like wildly winning will uh, change the difficulty we're still working on getting that in the right spot but as you can see last episode we got three points out of six so there's still some things here and there we can work on so let's jump into this as you can see three points ahead of newcastle and then nine ahead of villa and we'll look at the top six <laughs> wild eventually they'll fix that we'll have to see but we for now we'll take it but let's jump into it First game, away to Leicester. Some good players on this team. They're a very good team. I think they're going to finish top four in real life. And uh, hopefully we uh, can keep it up. But we are going to have to make a couple of changes here. We'll probably get Kent in. Um, midfield's all right. We, put it, we can probably change out the right back. He hasn't played in a while anyway. And possibly, you know, Dawson hasn't played in a while either. We'll let him roll. And we'll probably go along with this team here. So let's jump into it. Watford, Leicester. Let's go. One more. Dini gets it to Pereira. Tries to take it around West Morgan. But gets it to Dini instead. And McKenney on a good run here. McKenney! It's a brilliant finish. That's lovely football from us. A great back heel from Dini to really put that in this, the right position. And it's McKenney with the goal. It's 1-0. It's a, or not Dini. It's a... A good ball from Pereira, the back heel, and then a good ball from Dini for the assist to McKenney. But lovely football all around, and this is a, a great finish. Just no chance whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And an early 1-0 lead here. We'll take it. They hold on. Nice ball into space. Zinder tries to get it behind. Not the pass I wanted there. Not sure where he's going. Damari Gray still has it. So let's to try and play it in. It gets hooked in. Oh my god, they've hit the post. How in the world? Where were you going, Foster? Jesus. Very, very close. Off the post. Foster looked like he had it, and then he backed off. Can't be doing that. Decore. He gets it on to Dini. Dini gets it back inside. DeCorey holding on to it. Can he get it to Dini? He can. Dini makes no mistake. And it's great football there. And a couple of seconds after they've gone and hit the post, we've doubled our lead. And we have been very clinical today to start. And Leicester fans booing away here. And uh, we've played some really good football here. It's nicely done. DeCorey holds it up. A nice little back heel. And Dini's not missing that. Just... Fires it into that side there. No chance for the goalkeeper. And about a half hour gone and we're 2-0 up. Holding on to it here. Plenty of space out here for Chilwell. Who kept his run up. And Chilwell cuts inside. He gets it across. It's a really good save. Foster cannot get to the second. And it just ekes past the defender on the line. And Lester have pulled one back. All that space for Chilwell. He finds a really good ball across here. And the save gets on, but he can't get up in time. Ken Foster, and we cannot clear it off the line. It's Iannaccio with the goal. And five minutes before halftime, they've maneuvered away back into the game. One more. Nicely done. Can we get it forward? We can. Here's Pereira. Can run at West Morgan. And Pereira is going to hook that back post. It's De La Feu. Oh, my God. What an opportunity. Ugh. You got to be finishing that. Or at minimum, putting that on target. He's fired that a yard wide. Oh my god, what an opportunity. Decore in space. Has a pop and decent save. Too much space for Decore. Where the hell did I go? Can we come forward again? Having a hard time getting it out at the moment. Nicely done. Feminia. He's just missed it there, but the second one is... Oh, it's off the bloody post. How are we not... <laughs> How have we not scored a third? What a ball in that is. We need to make some subs, but what a ball in that is. Free header. I cannot believe we're not ahead. Like, fur I can't believe we're not further ahead. Oh, nice little ball in there. It's James Justin. 
Under the ball. Under. It's a good player. James Justin hooks it into a good spot. Oh, and it's going to slip past Foster. Oh, God. Those chances that we missed coming back to haunt us at the moment is 2-2. Two -two. This is a ball in. and what is, Who gets a touch onto this? They both just kind of slip. He scuffs it a bit. It gets past Foster. He had to stretch out to get it. I'm not blaming him, of course, for it. It's just the white. Look at that. It's just hit him on the thigh and gone toward goal. Sneaks into that corner. And Didi came on just a couple minutes ago. Grabs the goal. It's 2 2. Kapu. It's Kana. Can we find the winner here? It's going to come through to Kana. And Kana! Oh my god! I thought that I'd found the net. Oh, we're killing this team. How are we not ahead? Oh, you've got to put these on target. Two minutes to go here. One minute to go. Do we have a winner in this? We certainly deserve it. We've been much the better side. So many opportunities, but you got to finish. That's a poor ball by Kana, and it looks like we are going to come away with just the point. Unless we can get an opportunity going here. It's a nice ball forward. Dini gets it. It's Kapu. We are going to have that opportunity. And that's not who I wanted the pass to. A 2-2 draw. We were so good. We were really good. You know, honestly. But I cannot believe we haven't finished some of the chances we've had. And we got to be doing so much better. As Liverpool win their game. Newcastle have won their game. They're one point back of us now. They beat City 2-1. Newcastle flying along with us. It was 2 1. One point ahead. That's so annoying. It's so annoying that we didn't. Um, two very. Or one point. I don't I, I lost my train of thought. Um, but it's just. We should be winning that game. We really should. We really, really should. And now we got. Doesn't get easier. In game at least because look at Welbeck he was just he was just happy that I was playing him look I really appreciate you listening to me and letting me get out there to play while I'm in form great I need to play more often your demands are out of place we'll see how this goes but we've got Man United to come next and in game they're quite good maybe not left in real life but in game and we might have to make some changes as Sar should be back um, but we just played a game a couple of days ago. Dini. And get, let Hernandez come in. Barco. Left back. I'll have to change out. Olivas. Um, where is he? Messina there. Welbeck can come in. I guess he can play behind the striker if I, if I really wanted him to. Yeah, we'll play, uh, we'll play him behind the striker. And we'll go with this team here. So let's jump into it. Um, let Kent get a rest here. So let's jump into it here. Watford, Manchester United. Let's see if we can pick up three points. Get that into Hernandez. We can. One more as well, Beck. Love to score against his old club, but feeding in Sarda early up. Oh my god. What is with the finishing today? It's just flat out dreadful. Well, Beck obviously would love to score against his old club. Laying one off would be just as good, I feel. But as Molly Asar, another poor finish to add to the growing list apparently today. Pogba chasing on. Can't quite do anything about it there. But it's a good run being made by Bikeni. It's one more. It's Barco. Barco! And we finally have finished off a really quality chance. Jesus. It's about time. Ezekiel Barco, a new signing this year, finishes off a really good move. It's nicely done. It's a good cutback there. And he just takes that one touch, draws out the goalkeeper, and finishes beyond him. And an early 1 0 lead. One more. Good football. One more on. Nicely done. It's Danny Welbeck. Not the quickest anymore, but Danny Welbeck, he can get it in. Lovely, lovely break. It's stunning, stunning football, really. Hernandez with the goal. It's 2 0. And what a break. This is such great football. Welbeck. 
just a stutter step here and just the simple ball across and it's a really good finish Had to go back just a touch to finish that off but after 20 minutes or so we're 2 nil up here Welbeck McKenney finds Welbeck does well finds McKenney oh what a huge deflection and oof I thought that had found the back of the net I'm not sure who that hit United player, obviously, but man, that looked like it found the net. And to hey, I came for the corner and completely missed. Couldn't take advantage of it. One more to Corey. Heinz Barcos. He's had a good game out on this left hand side. It's one more. It's a lovely ball through. It's Ismalia Sar. Cuts back. Lovely from Ismalia Sar, and he has cracked the woodwork. It's a great attempt. It really is a tight angle over the goalkeeper. Just couldn't dip under the bar. Really nicely done. It was Rashford zipping forward, looking to bring United back into this game. I don't think they've had a shot all game. As I say that, it comes right back to Rashford, and there it is. And there's the shot. What a save. I believe that's the first shot of the game. It's a great save from Foster. That looked like a goal. But he is... I mean, he had plenty of time to take a touch and everything. Should be doing better. United still have it, but... Ooh, what have we done there? It's zip to the back post. Oof. Oh, not the turn. Just first time pass it. It's come to Pogba. What a save. And a couple of chances here for United. They haven't taken any of them. They've taken 70 minutes to really just wake up. Oh, I thought we turned him. Oh, and he's gone by me. It's Martial. Martial. Oh, it's a great save from Foster, but he couldn't get up in time. And United have pulled one back. 2-1 here. And they've come on strong the last 10 minutes or so. But they've... That was, their first shot came 10 minutes ago or 7 minutes ago or whatever. And they've been pushing and pushing ever since. And all of a sudden, we have a game. It's 2-1. Up too, too long to go. He has a hit here. It's a good save. But Foster can't get up in time. Just gets up and spreads hoping to get a touch onto it can't quite do it 10 minutes to go gotta hold on here we can't do this two games in a row get that across we can it's only a minute to go we can just hold on to it we will win the game that's a heavy touch from Hernandez but he still does well to hold on we get this over the top is Molly Sar can he get there not quite we win that we can, but not what we needed. But that should be game over, and it is game over. A 2-1 victory here over Manchester United. And they, play, you know what's funny? They played a team that wasn't that you don't feel is great, but it's pretty much the same team they play in real life, and that's just how crappy they are right now. And we've taken full advantage of that. 2-1, and we'll take the three points. We will definitely take the three points. We'll see what Newcastle did. Um... I still don't. I'm still not really into winning the league this year. Not that I don't. I'm not pushing to keep on going, but. Um, but I think once we get the difficulty right, it'll. Um, it'll really balance itself out. So, we'll see as we go forward. But we've got another game today, and um, hopefully we can keep up the winning streak. We're still only one ahead of Newcastle who are just flying. They are absolutely flying. And if we don't win the league, they look like they're going to win the league. But as you can see, nine points are one point out of Newcastle and then ten out of third and fourth, eleven of Everton, Arsenal, Wolves, Villa are in there. But we have got Sheffield United. We can put out a decent team, but as you can see, we've got a game two days after that. So it's going to be very, very tough to have everybody rocking and rolling for both games, obviously, and it's just not probably not going to happen. But we can start the first team here, and we'll just see what we have to do the game after, whether we'll have to rotate a lot or whatever it may be. But let's jump into it. Sheffield United, Watford, let's go. It's a good run through the middle here. Fleck on it. McKenney chasing. There hasn't been a shot all game, and he's done well there, and Foster... Does really, really well. And that's the first opportunity of the game. We're 26 minutes in. Sheffield United with it. They're proving difficult to break down. And as you remember, earlier on in the year, we drew with them 1-1. They drew with them in real life. Nil-nil. It's going to have to get by Sheffield at some point. 
Sipping it forward. Nicely done. Pereira, can he get it through to Sari? Can. Sar's onside. It's a great. Oh, it's a offside. I thought he was onside. I really did. I'm going to have to see that again because I swear he was onside. Stays nil nil. It's good football here. I oh, just stray just a bit, doesn't he? Ooh, annoying. Thought we had the opening goal. Pereira. Decore. Plenty of space for Decore to have a hit, and that's a great save. And it's zip back in, and not going to find a Watford player, but at the moment, there are so few chances happening right now. And it looks like we're going to head into halftime, nil nil. Nicely done. Here's Dini and De La Feu making the run we want them to make. He's got pace, De La Feu. Can he get away from Morrison? Let me zip it back post. What a ball. Oh, what a save. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. What a save. He's just gotten across. Oh, man. That is an unbelievable save. We really should be taking the lead there. He puts it on target. Hits it first time. It's not too much more you can ask of him, I guess. But that is a great save. De La Feu. Just looking for spaces. They almost gave him a space there. It's Hernandez. De La Feu. Can he make that run? He can. A ton of space. Hernandez takes down turns nicely. Hernandez that's in the back of the net. And we've taken the lead here. Late on. 20 minutes or so to go. Hernandez has just come on. It's a great goal. That first time touch and the second touch just opens up that space. And it's just gone right by his shoulder, the goalkeeper. And it's 1-0 here, 15 minutes to go. Nicely done, Hernandez. Does so well. And he has a pop from distance and it's a great save. Bit of a gap there. Might have been able to push into it, but center backs probably would have caught me. It's a good hit anyway. Comes back to Saar. Melanxar. Now it's Decore. Kent. Kent's fresh, and Kent can try and push into that space as we try and seal this game up. Kent! Oh, but it's off the post! Oh, so close to killing this game off. Sheffield were just holding on there. Nicely done. Hughes, plenty of space. Has a pop, and it's another great save. And we're really, really trying to kill this team off at the moment. But they're just, just holding on. Stay Lefeu. Oh, there's no one out there. Jesus, what in the world? Osborne here. Only a minute or so to go. And here we are, at a time. Some good football. It's O'Connell coming forward here. Just switching around, looking for something. It's hooked into space. Foster gathers. And we are going to come away with a 1-0 victory. Sheffield been a pain so far. Where's the bloody whistle? Thank you. I've been a pain so far in this career mode and in the other one as well with Liverpool I've drew with them 1-1 as well so Sheffield have done a pretty decent job to go ahead and collect points from us but this time we do get the three points United beat Newcastle and that opens up a little bit of a gap um, at the top of the table <laughs> at the top of the table between Watford and Norwich wild stuff um, but we've done well there toward the end we were really pushing just couldn't find the second um, but the late goal took a while to open it up. And once we got the goal, how was this match for you? Proud of the lads. Like, some weird answers to some of these questions. Um, but as you can tell, we're top of the league. We play Aston Villa next, who are 10 points back. Cheers for all the first team football, Dini. No problem. Um, but we are doing well. Next episode. We're into January. We have money. We might be able to buy someone. If you guys want to see someone bought in or a position bought in, let me know. Um, but next episode, Villa at home and then at home to Wolves. Look at that. We're going to have... What, what game is that? The first. So we're going to have one day rest, then a game, and then three days rest on another game. And then we've got Coventry in the FA Cup, round of 64. So... Um, a lot of games to come. They've got Bournemouth, Villa, and Tottenham again. So it's going to be a difficult January as well as a difficult end to this one because we're going to, well, we'll take a look right now because we're going to really have to change the squad around, I imagine. As you can see, a lot of tired players there. So we're going to have to work for it. 
when it comes to beating Villa, guys. But that is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you folks have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.